or the Highlands County Tourist Development Council. Um, this is our second annual Tourism Insights Award program or Insights program, which is co-hosted by us, the TDC, as well as Highlands County Economic Development. And I see Jeff in the back. Jeff, do you want to wave? And our three chambers, which I see George from Avon Park and Jennifer from Lake Placid and Liz from Sebring. So those are my co-hosts along with Chantel Brutus, who's the administrative assistant for the TDC. Um, I'd also like to recognize we have, I see one county commissioner in the room, Commissioner Elwell. Um, well, he's on my TDC. One county commissioner, Commissioner Elwell. And then also my county commissioner and TDC chairman, Commissioner Brooks. Um, I'd also like to introduce some of my TDC board members. Councilman Stewart, sorry, I didn't want to call on you <laughs> just yet. Um, Diane Radecki. We also have Maria Sutherland stuck in on me just now. And then I know Christine Hatfield, Cindy Guerin, and am I missing anybody? Did anybody else from TDC sneak in on me? Okay, perfect. I also see Mayor Shoup, City of Sebring. I see Phil Williams, Town of Lake Placid. So thank you all for being here. Ray Royce, Town of Lake Placid. Is that right? I, I'm guessing that's who you are. Okay, great. Anybody else that I'm missing representing the city? Um, we do have Kylands County Sheriff Paul Blackman, who I'm going to introduce a little bit later for a special presentation. So thank you all again for being here. You have the Park City Manager. Oh, I'm sorry. Again, the mask. Hi, thank you for being here. <laughs> this is the second year of our Tourism Insights Program and the first year to recognize our Tourism Award winners. We had planned to hold a luncheon like we did last year at Seven Sebring Raceway Hotel in May. Obviously, COVID had different plans for us, but we are very happy to be holding the event now. Um, you'll hear from John uh, with the Huddle Up group. So a lot of his recommendations were going to be delivered in May. So a little change of, change of scenery, change of action. Um, we have very two special components of the program today. One is to announce our 2020 Winter Circle Tourism Award winners. And the second one is um, our tourism sports tourism audit presentation, which will be given by John Schmieder of the Huddle Up Group, and I will introduce John later. So this year's Winter Circle Tourism Awards are about recognizing individuals, teams, businesses, and organizations that exceed expectations and serve as tourism ambassadors by going above and beyond their typical everyday duties during the 2019 calendar year. Through their performance and action, they are creating situations that result in happy, grateful, surprised, and delighted visitors who can't wait to return to Highlands County. These guests are so wowed that they want to tell everyone how wonderful that special person is that they met or about that awesome place they visited during their vacation here. There are also people who make the operation of our tourism related businesses better, faster, friendlier, and more efficient so that visiting our area is much more pleasing for tourists. Economic development starts with tourism. Whether the tourists are here just to visit, to move here permanently, or to relocate a business here, they all come to Highlands County initially as a tourist. And our tourism ambassadors are typically the first interaction with our community that these tourists have. So it is only fitting for us to recognize them for their important contributions to our tourism industry. Online nominations for seven award categories were open earlier this year to recognize performance taking place in 2019. Thanks to a recommendation from the Huddle Up group, we will be adding an eighth category next year for our sports tourism champion. Winners for this year were chosen by our independent panel of judges all residing outside of the county. Those included Jen Carlisle from Visit Florida, Brandy Hastings from Pegasus Transportation, and Kimberly Morgan from the Clay County Tourist Development Council. So, are we ready to get started with our awards? The first one we'll recognize is our Attraction Service Champion. This award recognizes an attraction employee that repeatedly goes above and beyond to make every guest feel special. This is the person that guests remember and ask for by name. Guests are often compelled to write letters of praise about this person and repeat guests let management know they would like to return because of the thoughtfulness and consideration this person shows. The recipient of this award should show absolute professionalism and genuine care for the welfare of guests and the attraction. 
He or she displays a winning attitude about their job and the attraction. He or she could be a representative from any staff position except executive management at any attraction business catering to visitors and involved with tourism in Highlands County. So before I read the winner, um, I will say we have Carolyn Maxey here to do photographs. So when you come up and accept your award, we're gonna do a photograph real quick. And then if you could stay afterwards for a group photo, that'd be great. So as one of the key spirit advisors for Sugar Sand Distillery, this person is often the face and the voice of the distillery. She conducts the spirit tastings, talks about the distillery and its products, and entertains the guests to ensure they have fun during their visit. If you look at Sugar Sand Distillery's Facebook page, you will see that she is consistently getting rave reviews for her exceptional customer service and high level of knowledge about the spirit she is serving. She creates an unforgettable experience for the distillery guests and people love interacting with her. I have seen it firsthand. She is always thinking of new ways to attract guests to the distillery with event ideas and special promotions. For going above and beyond and making sure visitors to Highlands County have a wonderful and spirited experience, it is my pleasure to present the Attractions Champion Award to Mimsy Mimi Valore from Sugar Sand Distillery. You all can see her enthusiasm clearly. Thank you, Casey. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank very you very much. much. Congratulations. <laughs> Our next award is the Hotel Service Champion. This award is designed to recognize a hotel, motel, or resort employee that repeatedly goes above and beyond to make every guest feel special. This is the person that guests remember and ask for by name. Guests are often compelled to write letters of praise about this person and repeat guests let management know they'd like to return because of the thoughtfulness and consideration this person shows. The recipient of this award should show absolute professionalism and genuine care for the welfare of guests in the property. He or she displays a winning attitude about their job and the place where they work. He or she could be a representative from any department except executive management at any hotel, resort, vacation rental, or campground catering to visitors and involve the local tourism. This year's Hotel Service Champion winner brings a great deal of hotel industry experience to the Sebring area. From the Ritz-Carlton, Washington, DC, where she served as a front desk agent, to the Ritz-Carlton, New Orleans, where she served as a club concierge. She has called Sebring home for nearly 11 years and her passion and drive to ensure that each hotel guest has an outstanding and memorable experience is evident. Her smile is welcoming and seeing guests depart with a smile after their vacation gives her joy. Hotel guests know her by name. From the moment they call in to make a reservation, they normally ask to speak with her. And even if she is busy, she will take the time to assist them. Once they arrive on property, they feel compelled to stop by the front desk to say hello on each visit, and her employer receives numerous letters and thank you cards from guests praising her dedicated service. For her exceptional customer service, welcoming smile, and high-level professionalism, I'm happy to present the Hotel Champion Award to Unique Black Leller, from In on the Lakes. <laughs> Unique could not be here with us today. She has a sick child, but I'm sure Ms. Hatfield will take her award to her. So thank you. <laughs> Do you want to just wait? Because you might have to come down for more. Yeah. Wink, wink, wink. Okay. The next award is our Rising Star Champion. This award recognizes the newest individual on your hotel, attraction, retail, or tourism-focused business team who is always willing to give time, talent, imagination, and resources to create the ideal environment leading to the ultimate guest experience. As, as of 2019, this person will have been on your team for less than a year. Age is not a defining factor. Length of service for your organization is. This is a person that shows existing employees, by example, the execution of quality tourism hospitality service leaving a lasting impression on staff, management, and guests. By his or her attitude and actions, the nominee shows great promise and a bright future as a hospitality industry professional. The recipient can be a representative from a hotel attraction or any service-related business catering to visitors and involved with tourism in Highlands County. The nominee may be from any tier from entry level through executive management. I don't see them here. 
Um, it took some imagination, time, and talent to create one of Sebring's newest restaurants and the first eatery in the area to focus on locally sourced, organic, and delicious food. Two women had an idea that in such a close-knit small town like Sebring, folks could gather together and share a passion for farming and healthy, sustainable lifestyles. By combining their talents and resources, Tanya Khan and Stephanie Nelson created a one-stop shop for locally grown, harvested, and handmade products when they launched Organically Local in March 2019. That's the I don't recognize anybody with mask on. God, I'm sorry. <laughs> Families who share their passion of sustainability and healthy living um, it was equally important for Tanya as a fourth generation Sebring resident and business owner to launch and develop a business that was substantial enough to be successful and also help the local community in such a way that it would leave a lasting impression for generations to come. With their names on the wall, literally, they are dedicated to providing a quality product along with a great customer dining experience that goes beyond a healthy, delicious meal. Although new to the restaurant industry, Tanya and Stephanie have demonstrated a bright future as hospitality professionals. For that reason, I am happy to present them with this year's Rising Star Champion Award. Come on, girl, Amy. Thanks for coming. I don't recognize anybody with a mask on. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. The next award is our Restaurant Service Champion. This award recognizes the restaurant staff member who provides exemplary service to guests and who uses their own imagination as well as resources at the restaurant to enhance the guest experience. This person goes above and beyond the call of duty to provide exemplary service and hospitality, encourages repeat business, and has a customer following. This is the person who doesn't think twice about stepping in to solve any size problem, taking on tasks in addition to their assigned duties, or covering for other team members. It should be second nature for this nominee to perform amazing acts of customer service and to show genuine kindness to their customers. The nominee can be a representative from any local restaurant or hotel restaurant catering to visitors and involve a local tourism. The person selected for this year's restaurant service champion has worked for more than 15 years at Chicane's restaurant. Standing out for quality customer service at a restaurant known for its great service is quite an accomplishment. She started out serving in the restaurant and then moved to serving at the restaurant's banquets and offsite events. Most repeat banquet and special event clients request her by name. She is now in charge of the banquet department and trains not only banquet servers, but trains in new hires as well. She is the epitome of what hospitality is all about. I have personally seen her stop what she's doing to help people wondering about the property. She's always wearing a smile, making someone's experience more pleasurable. For these and so many other reasons, I am thrilled to present Deborah Overbeck with this year's Restaurant Champion Award. <laughs> Debbie could not be here with us today. She had a pre-planned vacation, but I know Christine's going to accept this award for her as well. So thanks, Christine. Our next award is our Volunteer Champion. This category recognizes the true spirit of volunteerism, a person who offers his or her time, energy, and skills for a service or undertaking that benefits others without compensation. It seeks to highlight the energy, enthusiasm, flexibility, and dedication the volunteer nominee gives to their organization and how their efforts contribute to the success of tourism in Highlands County. The recipient, no matter what their age, should display sin sincere desire to give their time for the benefit of the visitor. The nominee can engage in volunteerism at a, volunteer inf a visitor information center, attraction, park, museum, hotel, restaurant, volunteer board, or any property or organization involved with tourism in Highlands County. The nominee should display exceptional customer service, provide information in a friendly manner, and consistently do whatever is in their power to meet the needs and requests of the guests at their workplace. They should display not only qualities of customer service, but also leadership. This award is presented today to someone who has logged more than 500 volunteer hours, who enthusiastically greets patrons as they enter the venue, and who shares interesting information about the exhibits and artist displays, and also provides valuable clerical assistance that adds to the Peter Powell Robert Museum's efficiency and hospitality. Not only does she display exceptional customer service, 
but also provides information in a friendly manner and consistently does everything in her power to meet the needs and requests of the museum guests. In addition to being on the board of directors for the Heartland Cultural Alliance, she also displays leadership by anticipating and preparing for upcoming activities ranging from housekeeping to event setup. She assists in the training of new docents, creation of policy and procedures, data entry, sales, and much more. For her dedication to a quality guest experience, I am pleased to present the Volunteer Champion Award to Natalie Covens. So Natalie got sick at the last minute, Galen told me. So Galen is here to, present, or to receive the award in her honor. Thank you, appreciate y'all. <laughs> Thank you, Galen. Just two more awards. So our second to last award is our innovation champion. This award category recognizes an individual or team that used imagination, creativity, and innovation to enhance how their organization works and ultimately how this innovation resulted in attracting new or repeat guests and customers. We are looking for the person or team that implemented a truly innovative idea in 2019 that created proven positive results. The recipient can be from a hotel, attraction, retail establishment, restaurant, or any property catering to visitors and involved with tourism in Highlands County. The individual team can be at any tier within the organization from entry level to top management. So, inspired by a saying between friends of not my monkeys, not my circus, and a midsummer's trip to Paris, Tiffany Cadzow springboarded from the success of Faded Bistro and Beer Garden and brought the innovative Monserk Wine Bar to life in January 2019 with her business partner, Deborah Moore. Located off the circle in a historic downtown Sebring, patrons enter a one-of-a-kind atmosphere filled with vintage French and circus-inspired decor that transforms you to a magical environment filled with wonder and wine. Although wine bars are common, the Monserk concept for the wine bar is very unique, and it piques the interest of locals and visitors as they discover a happening haven for unwinding and socializing. In fact, visitors love indulging in the whimsical wine bar that makes for great photos and destination stories. Tiffany Endeavor's vivid imaginations and creativity fueled both the wine bar concept and decor as they did most of the painting, furniture selection, and attention to detail themselves which is evident in the location's atmosphere and product offerings. They even offer Acrobat wine, which ties nicely in with the wine bar's theme. For their creativity, imagination, and innovation, I'm happy to present the Innovation Champion Award to Tiffany, Tiffany Cadzow and Deborah Moore. Congratulations. We have one more award. Um, this is the Humanitarian Champion Award. This award recognizes the contribution of an individual, a team, business, or organization in the Highlands County tourism industry for service in aiding and assisting others in 2019. These humanitarian efforts may include volunteer hours, corporate support for volunteerism, a fundraising campaign, relief efforts, or specific campaigns or programs that serve a local or overseas population in need of assistance. Nominees should exhibit humanitarian qualities such as honesty, integrity, responsibility, compassion, courage, and exemplary commitment of time and energy to serving others. The nominee can be from a hotel, attraction, restaurant, retail establishment, or any property catering to visitors and involved with tourism in Highlands County. At this time, I would like to call upon Highlands County Sheriff Paul Blackman to present this award. Thank you, Casey. Before I get started um, in, in, re in making this recognition, I would like to say that uh, this particular day that we're going to talk about is a I imagine will be remembered by all of us for a long, long time. Uh, I can remember where I was that exact day. I was at this establishment, uh, as were other members of our community serving on the United Way board. And, and we had that opportunity to be there that day because of the graciousness of this particular establishment. And then I was, I was sitting there when the call came in. So uh, let me take these off so I can actually see. 
see something close to me anyway. This award recognizes the contribution. Oops, wrong side. You got to come up faster with your hand signals. Uh, on, on, on January 23rd, 2019, our community suffered an unimaginable tragedy when five women were killed inside the SunTrust Bank in Sebring. That day was a hectic and heartbreaking, was hectic and heartbreaking, not just for the multiple agencies involved in responding to the shooting, but especially for the families of the victims. With media pouring into our town from all over the nation, the families needed a secure, quiet place to gather and wait for the news. And on the lakes stepped up and immediately offered their hotel to serve the family as a gathering point. The hotel donated not only a meeting place for law enforcement and the victim advocates, but also gave guests rooms and each family a place that was private so they could gather. The staff also went above and beyond to make sure the families and the victims advocates were comfortable providing refreshments and anything else that was asked for. The hotel did this not only the day of the shooting, but several days afterwards. For the selflessness giving to the families of the victims and their assistance to law enforcement during, <clears throat> during our county's darkest weeks, I'm happy to present this humanitarian champion award to Phil and Christine Hatfield and their incredible staff at In On The Lakes. I told you you had to be here today. <laughs> Christine called me yesterday. She's like, I can't make it to the meeting and no, another one from my hotel can make it. I'm like, you really need to be here. Like you really need to be here. Can you, is there anything you can do to be here? So thank you for being here, Christine. Very well deserved. So that concludes our awards portion of the program. Um, and we 